last time we met, I asked about ways to put more money in my pocket. I'm Dutch. I like that idea. Um, and we got off on interest payments and debt. Um, but what are some other ways that somebody maybe could look at, okay, no, life is tough. How can I increase my own cash flow? How can I increase what I have as disposable income each month so that I really do come to the end of the month and have something left over instead of coming to the end of my pay and having month left over? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, of course, as we've already said, um, reduce your spending and start with interest. Eliminate your interest payments, and that'll put a good bit of more money back in your pocket. Makes every dollar more valuable to get rid of, you know, because a borrowed dollar is not worth a dollar anymore. That's right. That's right. right. Um, another suggestion I would have in order to be able to reduce your spending is to don't pay others to do things that you could do for yourself. Oh, unpack that a little bit, because that, I don't know that much of that happens anymore. The most egregious example of where people pay others to do for them what they could do for themselves is cooking. Everybody goes out to eat. Yeah. Uh, everybody goes out to eat and we pay big bucks. You know, it's it's difficult to go out for an evening meal and end up this day and age with less than 15 to $20 a person. Oh, yeah. No, all of that because an entree is anywhere from 15 yeah. to $20 just the entree. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and so to not pay somebody to cook for you, to do your own cooking can save you a lot of money. Um, so limit your out to eat. Uh, other ways of saving money is uh, do your own yard care, uh, your own pest control stuff, uh, minor repairs around the house. I just got on YouTube to figure out how to replace a valve in a toilet. So, I mean, it can be done. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know, God bless the creators of YouTube for what they have done for the amateur handyman. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I remember pulling apart a faucet a while ago and... I thought, I have never seen a valve that looks like this. What in the world? When on YouTube, somebody had done one just like it, yeah. and I went step by step, and I saved, you know, what's the minimum plumber's call? Oh, yeah. You know, there, there are things know. I will not attempt to plumb, but why can't I fix my own leaky faucet? Yeah, exactly. And and so the, the doing your own home repair, uh, painting, uh, that sort of stuff. And also, you can find out a lot about car repair. On um, through YouTube and other sources like that, where where you can change your own oil, uh, change your own brakes, you know that sort of thing, and that yeah. that saves you a lot of money. I got a daughter who just got into an automobile, and I've been taking her play. I said, I don't think you understand what a car actually costs. And I I took her to one of these drive-through oil change places, and she was thinking, oh, okay, you know, changing the oil, how bad can that be? Well, it was ninety bucks. Yeah. And when you're yeah. a kid, that's a lot of money. And I said, you know, it's. If you get a pan, you can get underneath there yourself and take the plug out and drain it and replace the filter for half that. Yeah, yeah. Um, five quarts of fully synthetic, you know, less than 30 bucks. So, yeah, 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 it's amazing. Another thing is personal care stuff, uh, manicures, pedicures, even haircuts. Yeah, you know, I don't know things... that I'm brave enough, Bill, to cut my <laughs> own hair. I, <laughs> yeah. I, got, I, got, I got really bad grades in art class. I'm not sure I dare go up there with the clippers. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are things that you can do. Uh, get somebody else to cut your hair. You cut theirs, they cut yours. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Um, but that's that's uh, things that you can do to save money by not spending it on paying other people to do stuff that, for things well, that you can do. Well, what about bartering? Let's say I really am no good at haircuts. I can't cut my own hair. Jean doesn't want to cut my hair. She she I've asked her I don't know how many times. She won't do it. No. But we know someone who is a hairdresser, and maybe I'll do her yard work in exchange for bartering. Right, change her oil in exchange for a yeah. haircut or whatever. And the nice you know. thing about bartering services is. There is no added cost to that. The government doesn't tax me exchanging services with a friend. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. Very true. Yeah. Uh, another way to put more money in your pocket is to take on another job. There are all kinds of delivery things, um, uh, a number of different ways that you can take what on. What about just like a, these Uber drivers? Yeah, Uber drivers delivering people, delivering pieces, delivering papers, delivering, you know, there's all kinds of delivery things out there. Um, another way to put more money in your pocket is to sell junk around the house. One man's trash is another man's treasure, and just do a yard sale, and you come up with a. You can, most households can come up with a few hundred dollars as a result of doing a yard Which, sale. Which, if you're on a budget and you have a student debt to pay off, that few hundred dollars goes a long way. Yeah, you know, that's, that's right. That's the grocery budget for the family. That's right. It's not an ongoing thing, but at least for a one-time thing, you can get a few hundred bucks. A lot yeah. of work, but uh, it's out there. Yeah. Um, so what about things like, um, I don't know, you know, taking a look at your cell phone bill or your, because I think we all feel the need 
um, to upgrade. Oh, my goodness. My cell phone manufacturing company, whether it be Samsung or Apple, just came out with version 11, and there's this driving need. I need it. But honestly, how much better is the iPhone 11 than the iPhone 5 was? And I know there are people who argue, but does it make phone calls? Right. Do you get your texts? Cable vision. What about cable vision and some of these things that people buy? Excellent. Well, you're adding some more uh, to the, the list of ways to have more money in your pocket at the um, end of the month. I actually sat down with someone a little while ago. I'm stalling. I want to get to another question, but I know we're getting close to the break. But I sat down with somebody, and they were older and had no idea about um, things like a Roku box. And I showed them. I said, look, most of the programming that you like to watch is available for free online. And with a $60 box, they said $60. Between internet, phone, and cable, their, their, their bill each month was like 170 I said, you know, you can eliminate two-thirds of that right now um, just by dropping your need for entertainment. Or you don't even have to drop it. That box is a one-time purchase, and he likes to keep up with stock quotes and what's going on in the markets. Well, there are apps for that. Yeah. yeah. 